So let me ask you another question that wasn't around to the degree that it is today when you were president, and that's climate. You know, Brazil also in the news in the last year and will be again with all of these forest fires and the clear cutting of the Amazon forest. Um, and, you know, an issue that really has set Brazil apart from a lot of the rest of the world. How, how do you see that issue? How do you see the rest of the world coming to Brazil now and saying, you're not being responsible, you need to do more? Well, my mother was born in, in Manaus, in the Amazon. Yeah. So for me, the Amazon has a specific signification, you see? And I was very close to the, you know, all, all, the, uh, all the climate change problems and so on and so forth. I would say that's not the average people in Brazil. The average people don't, don't, don't look after the Amazon as a, 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 a wealth or a problem. And, and the Amazon represents both. It's a wealth and a problem. You, see? you have to keep the Amazon going on. I think that Brazil is now becoming more and more blamed by other countries because it's not responsible with the basic climate. And this is a, is a pity. I think Brazilians should understand the importance of it, to have the Amazon and not just to use the Amazon as a, an instrument. But I don't know if this will affect elections in Brazil. So probably all this will be more and more. There are actions, organizations looking after the necessity of taking into account the environment. But that's, that's not yet a political issue in Brazil. It's a political issue in the foreigners, for, for the Europeans and Americans and the world in general. They look after us and look, wow, well, we are destroying the nature. But there is not the uh, self-consciousness of the problem. Before we close, tell me a little bit about how you see Brazil's role in the world with the United States and with China. Increasingly hard to manage both of those relationships, and I wonder where you think it's going right now. And we are not fearing the Chinese in terms of you know, Chinese institutions. See, the Chinese are more similar to Brazil in some ways. Uh, uh, if you, you are inside China, in the interior of China, well, they don't have the idea of, of, of the government mean for them. They're living their lives like in Brazil. See. So uh, I think that if you look at the foreign affairs in Brazil, the orientation of the Brazilian government, we have no choice. We have to, 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 to try to be in, in, in good terms with both, East and West. See? Uh, we don't fear as well uh, the fact that it's possible that Brazil should be influenced by China. Uh, the, the, for us, as a nation, what is important to, 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 to be in good terms with different parts of the world, including Latin America. If we have some importance in the world, it's because we have some importance in Latin America. And uh, hopefully uh, there is not the sense that they are neighbors, are our enemies. That's not the Brazilian sense. What's the thing that surprises you the most about the world today that you had no idea would, would end up like this when you were president? Peace is very important. Uh, I think that people don't realize that we are living in a world of peace. The, uh, the end of Soviet Union uh, and the, the, the transformation in China, and as well as in America, produce a possibility of dialogue. So we, be, we take for granted that this will be always like that. It's not true. It depends, it depends.